I, I always joke with the mayor when I see the mayor. I said, you know, he should put this um, executive author and have a co-mayor, and I'll be his co-mayor. We started together. When Lewis was killed, he was just appointed acting mayor um, because he was the head of the city council, the city council president, and I think, I think was it Ray Flynn that was, was it Ray Flynn that went to the Vatican? Yeah. Uh, so the mayor was appointed, and he came to the house uh, when Lewis was killed, you know, and he really came very humble. Again, I, you know, I wasn't politically connected and politically involved because that was foreign to me. Yet he came in and, you know, he was very sincere and says, you know, I don't know what to do. What can I do to help? And right then and there, again, we didn't know what we needed. And yet, my mother and my daughter were out of the country. They were in Honduras on vacation. And that's what we needed. We needed to make sure, and they're both U.S. citizens. Yet we needed to make sure that they came home without all the customs. And that's what he did. He put, you know, we always said his machine. He put to work, I remember Evelyn Risenberg was the head of community centers back then. And he pulled her in with many people and really worked on the back end to make sure my mother and my daughter really came through from Honduras through Miami through customs without any um, any red tape that they really came through and also attended the funeral and really was not about him. It really was not about him. It was about, again, the family. And we have footage that, you know, when they were escorting you, you know, they, they tried to escort him first and he made it clear he really pulled back and allowed the family to go forth. So that, again, truly um, an inspiration. And we've been on this journey together. He supported the walk since day one. He comes out with his wife. Um, and while he doesn't walk the whole way because, you know, Mother's Day, he's a busy man. He's all over the city. Yet he comes, he talks to the families, um, and he, he truly has supported the walk. And even when he couldn't walk, he has come in the rain. And even if he can't walk, he will at least be there to greet the families and to talk to the families. We've also, he's, you know, also supported the walk, and we've created this model in terms of responding to family. We are contracted uh, through the Boston Public Health Commission as part of our crisis management services. So we work very closely with the Public Health Commission when a homicide happens to really be there to provide families. And create. we've created a model in responding to families in their greatest time of need. Um, and have de so that has become a model that we're hoping to move forth and really making this presentation formally to him and his administration and then working alongside you know to show this as a model because we also get funded through the state so looking at Boston where it has become a model um, in terms of dealing with youth violence we also want to make sure that others know that the state and the country knows that because of working with the mayor and his leadership that Boston has developed a model in responding to families impacted by murder in their greatest time of need. So that's the next phase of this work that we want to make sure people know that Boston is truly ahead of the game when serving families of murdered victims.